Immortals, I am Gibson and welcome to the highly anticipated DLC for Remnant 2 that is called, uh, what the fuck is it called? The Dark Horizon DLC, as we all know and love. Now, uh, Gunfire Games actually kind of pulled the wool over my eyes and yesterday I got a little alert on Steam saying, hey, there's a, there's an update. Or Remnant 2, maybe you'd want to install it. And I was like, okay, what is it? Do they rebalance the guns or something? Maybe there's new armors or some free new cosmetics that they keep adding to the game for some reason. And Steam told me, no, it's the final DLC. I'm not joking either. This, this is what I saw, right? September 23rd, Prism System. Don't know what the hell that is. September 18th, Warden Archetype Reveal Trader. Cool, who cares? September 11th, probably not a great time to, uh, to post anything, but... There you go, Dark Horizon DLC launches September 24th in three days. Then Steam just kind of like went off on its own tangent and thought, hey, here's, here's the game. Maybe you didn't enjoy it. And I was like, fuck yes, I'd enjoy it, Steam. Why didn't you tell me about this? So here we are in a brand spanking new copy of the game. And when I say new, I mean, if we go into our traits, you'll see that all of my mods have broken. So we're kind of back at vanilla, but uh, we are still using Scarby from the previous iterations of the game that we have been playing. So, to access this DLC, we need to touch the gigantic Osiris Dingling, and we need to go ahead and go into World Settings. We need to re-roll Adventure Mode, right here. And we need to go ahead and find... It's none of these ones. Ah, there it is! The Dark Horizon! They very specifically said that this is going to be the final DLC. And I can't believe they didn't tell anyone it was coming out! So we're gonna roll this adventure right here, and we are gonna play on... Probably Veteran. Because I don't know how difficult this is going to be, and I am playing this completely blind. In fact, I'm playing this so blind, I don't even... I can't even remember what the name of the DLC is. The Dark Horizon. Do I have to write it down? Maybe I do. Uh, we are going to go to Nerud. Finally, a Nerud place to go and do a one-shot adventure in. We are going to the Devoid Quietus, which probably means eternal noise, if you really want to think about it. And we're going to see what this DLC has to offer. I'm re I am actually very, very excited about this. Usually, when Gunfire Games drops a DLC, there's a huge fanfare. Angels come out of the sky and blast their trumpets out of their asses or something like Maybe I'm mixing it up with Monty Python. But they, they do something like that, right? They, they fart all of the news out into the wind and everyone's all like, oh. Oh, I love that game. This is a DLC coming out. Hell yeah. The last DLC was a Yasha DLC. And to my understanding, it was free. And a lot of people felt kind of let down by it because a lot of people by that point were basically just sick of Yasha. It was in Remnant 1 from the Ashes. It was in Remnant 2, which we're playing right now. It was in Kronos from the Ashes. And I think people are just getting a little bit of fatigue when it comes to uh, kind of like all of the stuff surrounding Yasha. I really liked it. I really liked that DLC. It actually filled out a lot of the questions that I had, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so this should be the entrance to the Labyrinth, right? This is where we are, we're at the Labyrinth entrance. Now, I did have a couple of mods installed. I had a couple of balancing mods. I did allow myself to basically dump 10 point, uh, 20 points into each of these traits, and I increased the trait cap to be higher than, I think it's 116 is the cap, but all of those mods have broken with the new DLC, and it's gonna be a wee while until it's fixed, I imagine. So we're gonna try and play with what we've got here. I don't know what we would dump the points that we've got into, so I'm not actually going to dump any points into it. Experience is useless to us whatsoever. We're never gonna do with that. Okay, what are we dealing with? Whoa! Now, one of my most popular shorts. Yeah, I know, right? One of my most popular shorts on YouTube is actually about a little bit of a connection that I made between one of the areas with a secret boss in it and the film Event Horizon. I saw a very, very obvious amount of inspiration taken from the two. So I showcased them in a short. The Event Horizon is kind of like the point at which light bends around a black hole. So I do definitely feel like this is kind of like leaning into more Event Horizon kind of stuff right there. Just right off rip. I could be potentially wrong about this. Is that a chest? No, it's just a... Uh, an amorphous blob of tar. Gross. I bet he's a smoker. All right. We'll move onwards. We do have our uh, elite guns here. We've got our absolute ass kicker of a gun, the Tesla gun. This thing is absolutely insane. We've got Doggo with us, trusty Doggo at our side. I actually remember this tram system as well from a previous episode that we recorded. I don't think it was an adventure. Oh, here we go. Gutsy already. And we only killed three enemies. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, methane, consciousness, 
Nation. I don't know why he just tanked our tank, but you know, such is life, I suppose. We don't need to touch that. Oh, there's a thing right here. Take me to repair land. Ah, I am sworn to carry your burdens. What the hell is this thing? Seriously, a prototype head. What is this? This is an actual prototype head. Oh my god, I. This is so cool. The decapitated head, well, I mean, it's not decapitated if it's not living, is it? The decapitated head of a completely mundane, perfectly innocent robot that you mercilessly crushed with a rail car. <laughs> Finally, Gunfire Games has taken a page from the book of FromSoft, and they've included feel-bad moments. Machines that cease to function are rarely discarded. Instead, their various parts are recycled or used in the creation of new machines. An intact artificial intelligence can inhabit any shell, however suitable for its program purpose. Particularly, advanced intelligences can even recall information of their past, akin to memories. Uh, yeah, I imagine it's got some kind of data drive, maybe? I don't know what we're going to do with that. Maybe it heckles us as we, as we go through the lands. I'm going to reload the Tesla gun here. Now, I did have another mod which tripled enemy spawns, and that was kind of like the trade-off that I was happy to have with the unlimited uh, trade point things. But, unfortunately, I think that may have broken as well. What the hell is this? What in the effing H am I looking at? Is this where we die? What is this? Okay, there's a little podium with, like, three beams on there. Maybe there's like other ones. Can we destroy these? Oh, we can. And all the tar seems to disappear. Maybe this material is made of. Is that alive? I'm getting the Lesbian gun out, just in case. It... Oh, we don't have the Lesbian gun. Okay, so I remember this gun being a bit of an ass kicker. We got it at the Proving Grounds, I think, the previous DLC. Okay, something obviously goes in there. Do I put my boobs in there? We are playing as a female. It's hard to tell uh, because of this armor, but we could potentially put our, our boobs in there. Did that help? Do you want a special? Okay, I forgot we're even that class. I haven't even used that skill much. Come to me, doggo. I don't know what we do with this thing, to be quite honest. Let's just ignore it for now. Maybe we will wake up. We'll wake up to whatever it is. What the hell is this? Is this some kind of like... Is this a dildo? Or is it a bong? It's one of the two. I literally can't tell. I am not brave enough to sit on that, though. That is enormous. I know someone who is, though. You are here. For millennia, your arrival has been eagerly anticipated. You must go to the Seekers. After all this time, they will be most pleased to meet you. You're expecting me? Not I. The Drazir. Of course. They scoured every corner of the universe seeking life and purpose. And then... Then? Then. Then? The Drazir crossed the horizon and found nothing. Nothing. They... They are gone now. Consumed. Distorted. Silent. For there is nothing here. Only the primordial void. The darkness at light's end. No creator sits within the seat of creation. Okay, so there's a little bit to unpack here. I feel like w when he's talking about the horizon, he's not actually talking about the planet itself. He's talking about the event horizon of the gargantuan black hole up in the corner of the uh, screen. You literally look up and you can't miss it. You All you see is black hole. And it kind of seems like the planet that we're on is also being swallowed by it as well. Because I don't know if you know this, but these particles are kind of like going up towards that giant black hole up in the sky as well. So this guy must seem to think that the black hole is the center of all creation when it's actually just a space-based anomaly or it could even be hell again i don't know this could actually be a gigantic nod to event horizon who are you i am no no i am the gardener yes the gardener i oversee this agricultural complex and you do not belong here in this place between quietus and that'll be the planet okay you do not belong so the place of Quietus is in fact this planet because the Drizia have left and are no longer actively moving on the planet. And creation is supposed to be the black hole. Okay? That's what I'm getting so far. That is what it wants. I'm just exploring. 
It confounds your senses. We should never have crossed that dark horizon. But you can still turn back. You have not yet crossed. Turn back. Poppycock! I do not know. Okay, I heard a strange voice earlier. What you heard was in your mind. It was not real. The echoes are endless, but empty. No, it felt real! You cannot rely upon organic sensations, no matter how real they seem. What a virgin thing to say! I have some questions, a lot of questions. I cannot answer them. You must go to the central tower. No, no, do not go to the tower. You cannot go, but you must. You must go to the central tower. This guy's like the, uh, the space hermit equivalent of Gollum. Or Smeagol, from Lord of the Rings. Are you alright? Something is wrong. An interference. I... I cannot counteract it. No. All is as it should be. I do not need any assistance at this time. Right. I'm it off. does not want you to leave. Why not? A stasis. Frozen in time. Forever unmoving. It wants Nerud. We cannot allow it. Please, help me. Take this and go to the central tower. Quickly, while you still can. I yeah, take one of these. <laughs> what a guy, huh? What an, what an actual guy. Okay, we'll move on from... What the hell is this? What the hell is this? It looks like Giorgio Cave designed this. I've jumped on it. Oh, I see! I see! It's a hang glider. Gotcha. Okay, okay. You know what? I can't believe that they actually did such a fan service. If there's anything anybody in a video game ever loves, it's vertical platforming. It is so fun. It is such a fun thing to put in a game. Vertical platforming. Oh, that's an enemy. Whoa, this thing hits like a truck! Whoa, okay. Damn. Okay. The strategy is coming along! Very, very well. All we have to do is duck, dive, dodge, dip, and of course, the holy last one, dive. Damn, that guy's like a shotgun. Okay, good. There's a little dude up there. Great. Oh, there's another. I did a crit. I love this laser beam so much. This is such a fun gun. Oh my god, I can't believe I never got to use it in the previous iterations of this game. Okay, so it doesn't really seem like there's a lot out here. Oh, there's a guy down there. I don't know if we can reach him from here. Maybe if we get a sniper rifle out, we could do it. What the hell is that? Oh, do we have to disable those? They're all kind of like facing into the center of this gigantic structure, which I must point out does have some kind of apex right under that ring. Uh, let's give Doggo a good pet because I haven't pet Doggo in months. Good boy. He's a good boy. Maybe we also want to wear something thematically accurate to Narud. How does that sound? We're wearing the technician set now. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what we're supposed to be wearing here in Narud. Can we? Turn our torch on. Whoops, wrong button. No, we can't. Okay, Doggo just popped a giant heel. Let's get it. Is that friendly? Damn well better be. <laughs> I'm gonna get on its bum. Whoa, okay. Oh, this isn't good. I hope that there is a, uh, an exit to this plan that we've just kind of doubled down on. Wait, can we go backwards? Oh, I can't look behind us. We've got to be able to, right? We've got to be able to. Can we go backwards? Oh, we can go backwards. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. I imagine we're going to gather some kind of madness or something by stepping off into the black tar. There is, in fact, a gigantic vent right here. Let's try and fly into it. I also can virtually guarantee that there's going to be something that was behind us. Why am I going back to chair? Ah, oh, ha, 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 Oh, I knew it. Oh, ploppers. Okay, I'm going to take the shortest time over here. Hey, nice. I like, we found our first cool little, what the hell is that thing? Where can it transcend time and space? I just realized how they work. That is so cool. They like walk on artificial little bits of gravity. That's so sick. Okay, I'm going to take all of that handgun ammo. What else are we looking at? This is an actual region. The Breach Accelerator. Ooh, la la. Look at this. We found a new ring already. Uh, what can we do away with? Probably the Bloodless King's Vow. Gain 4% of base range damage dealt as lifesteal. Absolutely not getting rid of that. Uh, ring of Diversion. Well, maybe we could get rid of this one. What is this? Increases movement speed and physical damage. Bonus is doubled when haste is active. 
Uh, okay. I feel like this is going to be one of those DLCs that's going to incentivize us to stack up a bunch of bonuses, right? Okay, I don't know where we are, but it sure as hell isn't where we're supposed to be, I think. I can virtually guarantee it, actually. What's at the end of here? We'll carry on our Wayward Sun just like we were before. We did actually get that Breach Accelerator ring, which is awesome. I had no idea that there are actually cool little doodads in the game to pick up. So it's great that we found a cool little doodad to pick up. So this should take us over here. No, it shouldn't. There's a little bit of... What's my dingle over here that we can fly up? Good. And where do we go from here? Uh, right there. There's only one place we can go from here. And we had a checkpoint. Great. We haven't actually been attacked by many things, though. That's actually probably the most concerning part about... That is cool. A gigantic turbine engine. Love it. Okay, we're going to touch the gigantic Osiris Willy right here. I found Osiris's Willy. It was thrown to Narood. Excellent. Good. Anybody interested in classics will understand. Pardon? <laughs> what? Yeah, that was quite the outburst, Scarby. Why did you do it? Was there any reason? What the hell is that? There's something down there. I'm going down. I want the world to know. Are we being attacked? What the hell is in here? There's like some gigantic flowers or anemones or something all over the place. What's this? Okay, I just put a glyph down instead of uh, attacking. What the hell is the attack button? There should be like a melee button, right? What is it? What? What are my? What are my controls? I literally haven't played this in like four months. Melee is the left mouse button. I call cap. All right, we're gonna take this here, hardened iron. Oh, it is actually left mouse button. My bad. <laughs> okay, we'll go around this um, horrible location. I love how Scarby cussed, and yet there's nothing here to cuss at. I'm also going to go ahead and use this thing special because I don't know if I like it yet. All right, we're at another one of the giant butt plugs. What the hell? Is this just going to be the whole game? It's just floating simulator. Okay, there's a lot of crap down there, actually. There's another butthole down there. I don't even want to know what the hell that thing is, to be quite honest. Is that the repair lab? We can go down there. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, let's take a look at our surroundings first. I don't necessarily want to be caught with my pants up my ass. You know, the, the popular phrase. Oh my god, hello there. We missed. Oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, I'm firing a my laser. I'm a firing my laser. That is a special if I ever saw one. I'm pretty sure I dodged that. Yes, sir, I did. Great. Okay, we've got another couple in here. Let's just start firing our Tesla gun or willy-nilly and we'll take these guys out as fast as possible because I know that it is actually upgrading. We'll chain this off and into the big guy right there. Whoa, okay. Hey there, big guy. Whoa, okay. He leaves little poison bits all over the ground. Little spores. Whoa. What is your deal, my man? Okay, I gotta reload my balls. Excellent. Uh, I don't know how I dodged that, to be quite fair. I really do not understand how I dodged that. What is this thing? Okay, I'm missing a lot of shots. Ow, that one really hurt. Holy hell. My god, that hurt. We gotta shoot it at its little, like, squishy green bits, right? Okay, good. I don't think this gun is upgraded whatsoever. If it is, maybe it kind of sucks. Just, like, inherently, as, as a base thing, it, it's it's just a sucking, a sucky gun. Ouch! Okay, I'm firing. Good. Okay, so that's going to do a pretty good bit of damage. And I'm pretty sure it's going to follow him as well. Ow, that hurt so bad. We need to do a lot of damage because that's how we heal now. Oh, hey. Oh, come on. Really? All right, Doggo. Doggo's getting us up with the Dragon Heart. We've encountered our first special and it kind of feels like a bit of a mini boss. Ah, damn it. We did. Okay, we can only resurrect like X amount of times in a single fight. With Doggo. I think it's got a cooldown of two minutes. So that was a uh, an experience and a half. Maybe we swap this gun out if it's... Yeah, this hasn't been upgraded whatsoever. Maybe we want to go home and just upgrade it. Or maybe not. Maybe not just yet. Maybe we'll upgrade it later. Because I know that our other gun definitely has a pretty good amount of upgrade to it. Die! Die! 
take things out of more. Excellent. Took them out with our Tesla gun. Love that for us. So there's a big dude over there that I don't really want to get all messed up with. And through here is absolutely nothing. Okay. Okay. So that's where we died. Uh, hey, there's a purple thing over there. Maybe we want to go over there next. I'm doing it. We're going over here. There's a purple thing right down in this little region. Uh, that looks like mist. I, I immediately regret taking the path that we have picked. <laughs> Detonating cord. What the hell is this? Uh, that's not the right screen. This one right here. Uh, we got the detonating cord. On relic use, it increases explosive damage. Ugh, yuck. Gross. Explosive damage is not very good in this game. Gotta be said. Okay, we got a few little items. Got some scraps, got some hardened iron. Didn't really get a hell of a lot else. Leap off the edge there. So, that doesn't really look like anything we can go through. But it's not stopping me. I'm actually going through it. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Can we go up here? No, I think that's a little roundabout way of getting through. Ah, there's a, a bunch of corpses. Nice. I don't know what these things are, to be quite honest. Whoa! They hurt! They hurt bad! Okay, overloaded status actually killed them all. Great for us, I suppose. Oh, god. Damn. Is it over? Yeah, well said. Well said, Scarby. Uh, we are going to activate the Osiris dingling just over here. Excellent. What is this? Another doorway here. Can I open it? Knock. Hello? I'm home. Honey? Okay. I see a little uh, transport in there, so maybe we need to find something to activate that. I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's this way, though. What is that? Oh, that's that thing that kind of like crawls on the uh, on the artificial grab. That is such a cool little effect. What the hell? What the hell was that? Damn, these things are potent, actually. Okay, let's kill it. Kill it with electricity, which is basically fire and ice. Oh, almost uh, with that dodge right there. Okay, so there's not a hell of a lot around here. What about through this fog right here? Is there anything through this fog? Yes, there's transport. There's another one of those giant dick things that I don't want to fight again. Hey, there's a thing up there as well. Oh, of course there is. We could have just flown down there. Right. All right. So it does actually seem like this DLC is kind of focused around... Oh, great. A lot of the kind of like topsy-turvy movement. Now, I'm actually going to fire a gigantic electrical spike into this thing when it attacks us next. Because quite frankly, it is a pain in the ass to have to deal with. Especially now that we can't see anything. All right, there it is. I'm firing my lasers. Good. Now let's, oops, that's actually not what we wanted. We didn't really want to swap anything out. So we've actually slowed this guy down with our uh, genius, with our genius little moves. Okay, good. Doggo is dealing damage and that is generating some delicious uh, health for us. Okay, got to get away from all of that. I don't want to be a part of it. I already took out one of its ads again. I dodged that one perfectly this time. Finally, finally, things are actually functioning as as we want them to. Uh, miss me! Now you gotta kiss me! Actually, no. Let's not sexualize these things. They look absolutely disgusting, and I'm not in the mood for it. Gross! Yuck! I, I don't want to. Maybe maybe in another kind of like playthrough, we'll try and. We'll try and sleep with one of those giant spiders, but at this point, I'm just disgusted by them. Absolutely just disgusted by their presence. This is a mess. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so pretty big messy area, it seems. There's another area that we haven't been up here. We could go this way, actually. We haven't been that way. Let's go that way. Oh, we're actually pretty low on uh, sidearm ammo as well, which is the Tesla gun. So we'll go ahead and we'll use this here yucky laser for a wee bit, I think. Okay, what is right at the end here? There better be something good. There better be goodies. I better not be screwed out of anything decent. Why do I hear enemies? Oh, it's probably because there are enemies around. Why didn't I just consider that flat out? Uh, hey, buddy, that is a special. Oh, I know exactly what to do with this thing. Its head is glowing. We gotta like hit it while it's uh. Well, it's about to charge up its big bomb face, right? 
Okay, there it is. Now we go. Okay, never mind. Go! Go, go, get your bombardier! I have absolutely no idea what the hell this thing is supposed to be, though. Is it a robot? Oh, okay. It doesn't matter what it is. It's uh, angry. Oh, okay. Don't want to be hit by that. Whoa! Oh, he's got the power of the black hole. That's impressive, actually. Okay, I was going to resort to my Dreamcatcher right at the end of that attack, but uh, didn't have to. Didn't have to, indeed. So what do we fight for? We got Hardened Iron. Is that it? Oh, man. <laughs> That's all we got. I see a glowing green thing off this way. We could probably actually take a look at that as well. What the hell is that? Is that a door, maybe? Possibly, actually. Oh, I think it is. No. It's just a spotlight. Yeah, there's nothing around here. Okay, let's get on this bad boy right here. And we are going to gap it. Oh. Oh. Yup, 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 yup. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe we want to go down there. I'm going to try and see what's over here first. Ah, oh, there's one of these giant dickheads over here. Great. Just what I wanted. Another fight with these things. I hate them. I literally hate them. Okay, it doesn't really look like there's any platforms around here either that we can launch off of. Which is maybe not the best thing in the world, but I do see an elevator just over here. Inside of what I can only assume to be um, the image of something squatting after it has not wiped its ass crack. After defecating. Like, that's all I can gather from what I was seeing there. Yeah, I'm not fighting that thing. <laughs> I'm getting the hell away from that. Any secret rooms? Not really, no. Alright, what are we looking at? Is this a boss already? I mean, I'll check it out. What is this? Oh, no, it's just a different area. Okay. Alright, here we are. We'll keep on going through for a little bit. This place is something else. The Detritus Foundry. Okay, so they're making literal crap. Probably to be put into the void up there, right? Why is it bright, though? That's my next question. Why is the void bright? Strange. Oh, no! I'm gonna grab that, and now we go down. We go down! Good. We just made it, too. Uh, awesome. We found an Osiris dingling right here. Great. And we're gonna push through. This actually is very reminiscent of Naruse. I remember this place like the back of my hand. This actually does look like the area in which we found the Event Horizon secret, doesn't it? Go, go, go! Oh, stunned! Excellent. Okay, we took out one of those things with an unupgraded rifle, which is pretty awesome. Go ahead, jam whatever the hell that is inside of our gun. And we'll continue onwards. Nothing up there is... What the hell is this statue? Ugh. Okay, definitely a statue. Otherwise, he would have gone, Ugh, after I blast him in the balls with a laser. What the hell is this? Oh, my God. My brain is physically breaking. Uh, let's try out this way first, because it doesn't really seem on the map in the top right corner that there is any other way to go. There's that way and there's this way. I'm going to try my chances through here first. Oh, hello there. Thank you very much for uh, ambushing me, I suppose. I guess. Die. Uh, okay, so they look like kind of normal NPCs until you actually approach them. Gotcha. 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 All right, there should be a bunch of them in here. I can almost guarantee it. What the hell is that? Nothing, really. Okay, so Tesla gun is still, got to be said, overpowered as hell. Okay, good. I dodged that attack pretty well. What is that? Is that a spider? What is that thing? What is this? I killed it, I think. Oh, Doggo has uh, aggroed everything in the room. Ow, that hurt real bad. I wonder if these things actually are kind of somewhat resistant to electricity. It kind of feels like they are. They're not really taking as many hits as I'd hoped they are. Whoa, okay, that tells us absolutely nothing. Oh, what? Oh, hey there, buddy. I remember him. Actually, the sand was really effective against this guy, so let's um, pop a gigantic uh, windmill, I suppose, right at his feet there. Ah, I'm moving. Bye-bye. And that will follow him around because he is slow as hell. Okay, so that's what happens when you don't dodge that. All right, good. Uh, I'm out of ammo for that gun. <laughs> Thank God this one works. That guy's got a clutch. 
All right, so I think we've had a pretty good taste of this already so far. So I am going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Remnant. What the f*** is this called? The Dark Horizon. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist I think you'd really, really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord, as well as a link to my live VODs channel, where I, you know, put all my live streams. And of course, until I make the next episode, or you catch the next live stream, thank you so much for watching. And for me, at least, it is lights out.